Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you the feature that was just released in the Roots Magic 4 preview, the recent build, and that is called Roots Magic to Go. We'll have three things that we need to look at. The first one is to tell it where our flash drive is. So we'll just pull down this little box and we'll select the flash drive. In this case, it's this one, this E drive that says removable disk. So I'll select that. That'll update these so that it has this option. So this one now says to install it to the removable drive. So we've got the removable disk, the flash drive, selected here. So the first thing that we want to do is install Roots Magic to that drive. So I'm just going to click here. This is just one big button. So we'll click that. We get this option uh, or this dialog that tells us what it's going to do, how much space there is on this flash drive, how much space is needed to install the application, and there's a little pull down here with some options. So we can um, have it in include or exclude the place database for geocoding. We can have it copy or not copy the settings from My Roots Magic, and we can have it copy or exclude the spell check dictionary that includes my changes. And we can also have it change the label of the drive to something. And then we can also enable or disable this feature that will automatically run Roots Magic from the flash drive when the flash drive is inserted. So that's a neat little feature that's in there. So I'm going to leave those all as set. Of course we have two buttons here. We can cancel to get out of this and not actually put the information onto the flash drive or we can click install which is what I will do now. So through the magic of time-lapse screen capture I'm going to uh, zip to the end of this installation. Okay the installation of Roots Magic to the flash drive is nearly complete. The next step will be to transfer any data that we have. In this case, I have one test file that's converted to the Roots Magic for preview format. So what we'll need to do here is click on this, select the file that we want transferred. Again, it tells us how much space there is on the flash drive available and how much disk space it's going to take. And then we will just click transfer files. Of course, we could have clicked cancel if we wanted to. So now these both show the green check mark. All the program and the file has been moved over to the new flash drive. So I'm just going to click close here. Um, we've actually got this eject item, which is kind of a nice little feature here. So I'm going to eject that. And I'm actually going to eject it from here. Okay, now it says it's been safely removed from the system. So now we have Roots Magic 4 and my Roots Magic for preview database installed on the flash drive. We can take that wherever we need to go and use that on another Windows machine somewhere else. Now let me plug this flash drive in now that we have this installed and we'll see if the automatic start is working. So that's plugged in now. I just heard Windows recognize the flash drive and it's loading. Okay, I don't see Roots Magic 4 starting up, so um, again, it's a pre-release version, so not everything is going to work. This is the first time we've actually gotten Roots Magic to go on a build, so um, it's expected that there may be issues with that. So let me take a look at what's in the flash drive. So here we can see it on the list of drives in my computer. So it's it did indeed change the name of that flash drive to my to-go drive. And I'm just going to double click that to let's see what's on there. So there is an auto run file. It, it didn't start for some reason. But that's okay because we can just go into Roots Magic 4 here and run the executable for that. So let's just start this up. I just double clicked on the Roots Magic program. So there we go. It's starting Roots Magic. It's loading from my flash drive. That was actually very quick. So we're just going to click open an existing file. I want to use the dialog, file dialog so I can tell it where I want to get it from. So I'm going to select my computer, select my to-go drive, and go into Roots Magic 4, data, and then the tree, and click OK. So there we go. There, here comes my Roots Magic 4 preview 
database. This is all loading from my flash drive, so this is a beautiful thing. Let's see how this works with taking this Roots Magic 4 to go into the field on the flash drive, making some changes, synchronizing that with back with what's on your PC, and then maybe syncing uh, changes that are on your PC to the flash drive. So let's see how this will actually work um, in practice. So pretend with me that we've taken this flash drive out into the field. In this case, we're going to go out to the Center Riverton Cemetery in Scottsville, uh, Michigan, to research the Bigsby branch down here. And uh, because we believe that, that a few of these people are buried there. So we go out to that cemetery and we find indeed that, that Ralph Edwin Bigsby, his father, Henry Fraser Bigsby, and his father, Albert Bigsby, are all buried in this cemetery. We find the headstones and all that. So we want to update their information. So we're staying with some relatives in, in uh, Scottsville. And we use their PC, just plug in the flash drive. And we go to these individuals and we make some changes in their records. So we want to add a fact. In this case, I'm just going to do quickly that um, where they're buried, not any details about when. We're just going to assume we know that they're there and, and that's it. So we've got the place is going to be Scottsville. That's in Mason County. Michigan, USA. And we're just going to save that. In fact, let me copy that while I'm here, since I'm going to enter that in multiple times. Copy that. Let's save it. Okay, so we've got information now that, that he's buried there. We're just going to click Close. And we'll go up and make the same change for his father. Add a fact. Let's add burial. Place. Paste that. And then Albert Bigsby, the same thing. There's no burial fact on here, so let's add one. Okay, so if we look at these, we can see that there's now a burial fact. Oh, I didn't save that. Oh, yeah, it is there. Okay, so there we go. We've got that place detail there. I'm not quite sure why it's not showing up in this pane. Again, this is a preview version of this, so um, it shows up there in that view. It's not here for some reason. In any case, we've got the data in there for all three of these people, Scottsville, Mason County, Michigan. Okay, so let's, we've got that, those changes made in the field. We're just going to pretend that we're there. We're just going to close this out. We'll skip our backup. So now we've got this data updated on our flash drive. And we returned from our nice trip visiting and doing some genealogy. And we want to get this information from our flash drive synchronized into the database on our PC. We start up Roots Magic to go. And we'll have to tell this that we want to use the flash drive instead of the floppy. And then down here you can see it detects that there's a Roots Magic file on the computer and a Roots Magic file on the removable drive. So it says transfer data to and from the local drive. So we're going to select that one. Okay, so now we have some information about this. It says there's a conflict between the files. The removable drive has an older date and a larger size. Now that's where we made the change, so we would expect the larger size. I'm not sure why there's an older date. That doesn't make sense to me, but um, the, and it says the computer has a newer date and a smaller size. So what we want to do is correct this conflict. So I resolve the conflict by clicking on this exclamation point. Now in this case it says that there are changes to both files. Now I did open the file on my, on my hard drive, so it detects that as a change even though I didn't really make a change to the files. So I want to replace the files on the computer from the flash drive. Now I could have, I could have done the other direction. So here we can see under action it says replace on computer. 
So if I, if I select this and click Transfer Files, it now puts that information onto the computer. So I can close out of Roots Magic to go. And now if we go into Roots Magic 4, we will see that if we pull up the record for these guys, we have the burial information that we inserted on the flash drive. And it's now on our hard drive in our database. So here again, we've got the details there. So now let's say we work along, do some other things, make some changes on our C drive, and we're going to get ready to go back out into the field, and we want to update the information that's on the flash drive. So I happen to know that Emmeline Carr uh, Bigsby was buried in, next to her husband in that same cemetery, so I'm just going to um, change her record so that we have something in there that's different than what's on the flash drive that we can go look for. So I add that to her, so we double check that, we can see there's the burial information. Okay, so we will close out of Roots Magic 4, we'll skip the backup for now, and then we'll start up Roots Magic to go again. We're going to get ready to go out in the field, we want to take our, our uh, current data with us. So I click that for, to select the flash drive, and then again it detects that we've got a Roots Magic file on the computer and on the removable drive, so we'll select that and we'll say, okay, there's a conflict between them again, just like we would expect. We click on this. This time we want to replace the file on the removable drive with what's on the C drive. So I'm going to select that and then transfer files. Now that's done, we can close this. And if we open up Roots Magic from that flash drive again, pretend we're out in the field. We'll open this up and take a look at Emmeline Carr and make sure that that record is indeed changed and there it is. So the changes can be pushed back and forth. You, the, the Roots Magic to Go program makes it easy to um, replace the files on your flash drive with the files on your from your PC and vice versa. And it will work with multiple files as well. If we had had multiple Roots Magic files on the computer and on the flash drive, it would have shown the, uh, the differences between them and such.